What's going on guys? Cassie from Jeep Gear and Gadgets and in my last video I took the Jeep out to some local wheeling spots down here in Texas and realized there are quite a few things we need to fix, right? We got the cat, the exhaust, the shift linkage, all of those things I need to be working on but I thought it'd be way more fun today to install a brand new doubled in touchscreen radio into my 2005 Jeep Wrangler so I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's get started, check out what we're working with and uh, get this project rolling. Right now, there's a super cheap radio in the Jeep. The previous owner put in like a $30, $40 aftermarket radio. You know, it does its job, it's kind of crappy. I'm really not a fan, but it does have all the basic functions, right? Your radio, aux cord, USB. But I kind of want to modernize it a little bit. I want all of those cooler features, you know, the touchscreen, Apple CarPlay. I think it'd be nice to have all of those in the Jeep, even though it is older. And I have an interrupter over here. Oh. Yo. Yo, where do you adobo go to? You have it. Did you lose it? Where do I put it up at? Oh, it goes in the spice cabinet. Yo, where do you adobo go He doesn't go know go? where the spice cabinet is, guys. So we're going to check out what radio I went with. Uh, <laughs> Yo, where do you, you go to? We're going to check out what radio I went with. Well, now we're going to need to do this project. And Ben, I need you back over here because I am going to need your assistance for a couple things. All right. Let's get rolling. Get that is not <laughs> the spice cabinet. <laughs> All right. Yo, where did Adobo go to? Oh. <laughs> okay. For show. All right. Oh. Oh. Adobo no. go on the floor. No. <laughs> For show. And for show does not go on the flow. I'm not gonna go put it up though. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. For this project, I went with the SSL doubled in 6.75 inch touchscreen radio. Now it comes with all the features you'd want when you're upgrading your radio. You know, you got Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay, blah, Android Car, Android Auto. I don't know, whatever you Android owners want, it has it. Uh, Bluetooth, USB, everything you're looking for. Now you probably haven't heard of SSL before. They're a sister company to Boss and Ben just installed a new touchscreen radio from Boss in his Jeep. Um, the SSL is a little more budget friendly, but you're still gonna get that good quality that you're looking for when upgrading your radio. Now, what are we gonna need to actually put this thing in? Let's check it out. So I have a new doubled in dash kit. Comes with all the brackets that are vehicle specific. We have our wiring, 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 Ugh. your wiring harness. We have an antenna, ant gosh, I can't talk tonight. An antenna cable. I don't know if we're gonna need this yet, but we got it just in case. I have a USB extender for the Apple CarPlay. Now, what are we gonna need to actually do it? We need the soldering cast iron. Why did I think cast iron? <laughs> Get in the kitchen on your cast iron skewer. Here Adobo, we need a soldering kit. We need shrink wrap, wire strippers, and then something to take your dash apart. I hope you're still watching this. I'm not crazy. I'm, you know, okay. You're a little crazy. A little bit. So uh, I think the first step is to uh, take the radio out of the box because I kind of want to check it out. I haven't even looked at it yet. So you're going to do like a cool. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Check it out. That is gonna be so much nicer than what is in there right now. So along with the radio, there is the radio harness. It comes with brackets, but we're gonna use the Jeep specific brackets or the vehicle specific brackets, so we don't actually need these. And then a microphone for the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or whatever you use. Now I've got everything set out, it's time to start tearing out the old dash. you with all the details about removing your dash because everyone's is different you know some people still have the stock radio we had a dash tray up on the top so just take your dash off we got the radio out and they have some wonky wiring in here so we're gonna take this off and go start prepping our new radio to come in good thing is that the previous owner had an antenna cable put in when they did the new radio so I can just go ahead and return my other one we're gonna have to modify the dash a little bit. The radio will not simply just slide into where the old one was. We're gonna have to take out the HVAC cluster controls, whatever you wanna call it, and then cut out this bottom plastic piece out of the dash in order to get this to slide into where it needs to go. We got that out just enough. Now I think we're gonna have to go grab a Sawzall or a grinder or something to get this plastic piece out. We're gonna start like 
least extreme to most extreme. <laughs> Last resort, a chainsaw. Knock off now. Whoop! Popped out. It took a little bit with the Dremel, but now we just need to go back and kind of clean it up, make it look a little prettier, a little smoother. Other than that, that's all you got to do, guys. Cut it out any way you like. <laughs> now that we got the dash all cleared out, ready for the new radio, got the HVAC controls back into place, we're going to see what the new radio looks like inside of our new dash kit. Now, one thing I know is that we're going to take off this bevel thing. I'm not really even sure what it's called because with this radio, with this kit, you don't even need it. It seriously just slides in so perfectly. You don't need that bevel that goes along the outside. It's a perfect fit. I'm really excited to get it into the Jeep. Now, time for the fun part, which is going to be wiring our harnesses together, which means we got to break out the soldering kit. So I have our radio harness and our vehicle harness. The diagrams for each one and being oh, that was so you had, loud. You had your beer going. <laughs> we have the diagrams for each harness and we're just gonna match them up together. Now once we figure out which wire goes with what, we're gonna take a piece of shrink wrap and slide it over one side, twist the two wires together, solder it, and then slide the shrink wrap back over it, heat it up, and then move on to the next wire until we get all of them done. wiring up the harness. Now before we start mounting the radio in the Jeep, I want to make sure that the connections are good. So we're going to go plug the radio in and make sure everything turns on. All right, time for the moment of truth. I'm going to turn this thing on or on just enough to see if the radio works. Ooh. All right, there's light. That means something. See what happens. S S L. I agree. No texting and driving. And it's on. It works. The radio works. That is a good sign. Everything works. That means I can go ahead and start mounting this thing up to get it into the dash the way it should be and uh, then really go test it out. Drive down the road, put some music on. I've got the mounting plates that came with the double din dash kit. So I'm gonna mount these to the side of the radio and then mount the radio to the dash. Got the mounting brackets hooked up to the radio. We angled them slightly, mainly because it was the only place where the screws would go, but also it kind of turns the radio up towards the viewer a little more. So I think it'll work out in our favor. I wanna plug all these back in and then mount the radio to the dash. Before we mount this, I forgot we need to grab the USB extension for the CarPlay. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Ben, you wanna hold the yeah. hold the radio? I'll I'll take the I'll take them with me. All right. <laughs> All right. USB extension. Got it right here. Back we go. Ah, all right. Now I'm gonna run it up through the dash wherever I want my phone to go. So depending on if you're doing this, you just kind of have to figure out where you want the charger to come out. It's not even a charger, it's a USB extender, but. Night number two. Last night we finished up mounting the radio and the dash, lining everything up. It took about 20 minutes because we had to make quite a few adjustments, making sure the dash and the radio were nice and flush. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right here. You can see it looks really nice, really smooth. Uh, the finish came out really awesome. It's looking great. But now we have to go ahead and take this dash off because you can see there's still some pieces we need to put together. I'm gonna take it off, take it over to my workbench over there where the old dash is, swap a few components over and wrap this project up. So this radio, we were gonna throw it in the trash, but I think it could be reused. It could use a good home. So if there's anyone out there who wants this radio, I will send it to you for free. Go down to the comments below, tell me you're interested in the radio and I'll pick someone to win this fabulous um, what is it? What is it? A dual, a dual so it, it's, it, radio. It, it's, a, it's a Walmart radio. It's a Walmart radio. It's probably like a $30, $30 radio, but you got the harness already made. Harness is already good to go. It should just be what? Plug and play? Plug and play. And I'll even send the antenna since we have an extra antenna. I think this is, yeah, we'll send this too. Send that too, just in case. Yeah. So I don't know if this one will work though. This is definitely vehicle specific, but uh, well, year specific, but somebody, hey, it's better than it. going in the trash. It's, yeah, exactly. We're recycling it. Yeah. <laughs> We're using it. 
right, so back to what we were doing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take the old vents out of the old dash and put them in the new one. What's that noise? I know, right? This one's like. There you go. That one just didn't sound as pretty. Next, we need to take these dash clips. I think that's what they're called. I'm not really sure. Dash vents? Dash uh, clips? Clipperonis. Clipperonis. It comes with new dash clips, so we're gonna just take these, pop them on, and then these connect to the actual dash. A quick reminder before you finish putting everything back together, don't forget to run your USB extender for your CarPlay and your microphone for your, like, for CarPlay too, for when you're talking to Siri or other people, yada, yada, yada. Don't forget to put those two things in before you finish mounting everything up. Ben made that mistake. <laughs> I did. I forgot like 15 things <laughs> putting my radio in. All right, so it should just snap right on. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it all back together, put our dash tray back on, and then tomorrow, take the Jeep out of the garage and turn the radio on and show you guys all the cool features that it has. It is morning, the install is done, the Jeep is out of the garage, so let's go check the new radio out. Right off the bat, you can see that the new dash blends in really well with the old dash. It's not a funky color, it's not a funky texture, it's a nice smooth look and it transitions really well. Next, I'm gonna turn the radio on so we can see what kind of cool features this thing has. So here's the main menu and you have all of your different settings right in here. You have your Apple CarPlay. Most people know what that looks like. You've got your maps, your music, your messages, your phone calls. And then back at the main menu, there is the Bluetooth where you can do most of that stuff the same way. You can put a backup camera in, which I haven't done yet, but I do plan on doing that. And then in the settings, you've got all of your, you know, the fun features. You can change the colors and the display and the brightness and your audio. You can go change like the levels depending on like what kind of music you like. So it has pretty much everything that I'm looking for in a radio. And I'm gonna put all of this in the video description below. The dash, the radio, and all the other parts that you need to actually do this install. Oh, well, see, it's working. I got a text message. Hey, mom. <laughs> so uh, all that's gonna be in the video description below. Check it out. I wish I had done this sooner, honestly. Um, we've driven this thing around for like a couple years now, and it would have been nice to have all of this the entire time. So it was all in there $300 too. And I think that's a pretty good price range to put any radio in. But that's about it. The install's done. I'm happy with what it looks like. I'm excited to have this when we go to the beach, when we go on car rides, when we go to the trails. It's just a nice upgrade to have. Now, what's coming up next? It seems like every time something breaks and I start to fix it, something else breaks. So last night I came out and I realized that the soft top, actually I'll get out and show you guys. I came out this morning and the strap that goes around back here is officially broken. I am now in the market for a new soft top. However, there is one video I'm going to be doing uh, about soft tops for all you soft top owners out there before I replace this one. So stay tuned for that. And other than that, guys, uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and my name is Cassie, and keep cheap and classy. What about the giveaway? Yes, so if you want my old radio, go down in the comments and let me know. Also, let me know what radio you're running, because I really don't know too many people who have done it like a double den swap. So let me know what radio you're running, and uh, that's about it. Bye.